Hi, today we're installing Windows 10 on the VUC Stylus Tech 5110, the ST5110. Um, it was one of my Linux tablets, but uh, we're gonna see how Windows 10 runs on this baby. The USB bootable uh, stick we created with Power ISO. Check my video how to create a bootable USB Windows 8 or Windows 10 stick. After booting up, we will come into the screen. This is uh, the normal setup. As you can see, uh, this is my tablet, by the way. Here, I have a pen. You see that the, 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 the pen is working. I'm gonna install. We can do everything. The complete setup can be done with a pen. So that's really nice to know the uh, the tablet, the Fujitsu stylus takes um, ST5110. Um, is fully Windows 10 compatible although I must tell you this is the 32-bit of Windows 10 up here I can put in a product code but I can also say I have no product code because I do have a product code but it's on my other computer so I will have to get that one first but we can uninstall without a product code this is by the way Windows 10 educational and uh, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna delete all these drives here we select them we delete them you see that until we have one drive there and then we say next Opa. so Linux will be wiped Linux will be wiped off this drive there and we're gonna use the complete uh, 120 gigabytes uh, partition to install Windows 10 it's gonna set up all the hardware devices and then it's gonna reboot one more time and then we will be brought to the setup where we can set up the tablet. And we're going to the final reboot. And uh, everything is going completely automatic. So we'll have to see how this tablet and the hardware will react on Windows 10. Okay, there we are. We are in the settings and now I need to find my pen. Where's my bloody pen? Hmm. I had it here somewhere. Okay, there we are. So here we can use the express settings, of course, but we could, we can also here uh, change the settings. I'm just gonna change them a bit because, um, yeah, they will turn on automatically again uh, after some updates, cause that's in fact, um, to let the system run better at least get um, whatever so there we go Windows 10 is installed on this baby and now it's gonna set up the last uh, steps we will have to make a name and change the colors of the, of the, of the skin the team and then we'll be good to go Okay peeps, Windows 10 is installed. As you can see, some drivers need to be fixed. I just checked on the website of um, Fujitsu and yeah, I'm checking here. I see that the 5110, well, this is the 50, this is not the 5110. There is no 5110, you see that? So in fact, the 5110 was only sold here in the, yeah, in Europe, I think, I'm not sure, but this thing is the 5110 but according to stylistic it does not exist you see that but I can assure you that this is the 5110 let me show that to you um, I'm not sure if you can read it there you see that okay uh, Windows 10 is installed peeps and um, yeah I installed the drivers all the drivers uh, kind of are fixed. I had problems with the Wi-Fi, the Intel uh, 3945 ABG network connection. I got it to work. We have internet. But um, what can I say? As you see, I'm clicking here on settings. It's not opening. My start menu is not working so there are kind of annoyments already uh, starting to bug on this system probably because the system is 
yeah I probably not good enough or so I don't know um, yeah so this is uh, working so effect yeah I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah I cannot reboot it's not responding so let's try with the with the stick here maybe this one this works better you see we're touching here but it's not popping up unfortunately you see I'm trying to get to settings I want to activate windows but I'm not getting into the settings so that is really kind of sad and uh, I did some reboots already just now it automatically installed some drivers and then yeah I got into a black screen so only thing I could do was effect turn off the computer and then you know reboot it and then my wife my Wi-Fi was not working so I had to restart my Wi-Fi card to get it back to work so um, yeah I think Windows 10 it runs on this on this tablet but it's I not I'm not thinking that this is really yeah what you want on the tablet at least on this tablet uh, Ubuntu runs even way more better um, Linux Mint also I must not complain about these systems but unfortunately Windows 10 is yeah uh, the problem with the Wi-Fi driver and we checked for some information on the Windows side and it was saying that there was no support for that driver anymore so but still we got it to work because the driver was recognized wrong and to get it effect to work I disabled the PC MCI uh, adapter drivers I disabled them I did not uh, uh, uninstall them I disabled them okay so Windows will not turn them on again otherwise it will be installed again and it won't help you will you will find out that uh, if you installed Windows 10 this uh, Intel driver that we were talking about the Intel Wireless Pro 3945 ABG network connection uh, it will have a, a how you call it um, a exclamation mark and it won't uh, yeah work okay but uh, the moment you turn uh, off the PCMCI uh, drivers, you turn off the device, the two devices, you will see that the wireless will start working, okay? And then Windows will automat automatically try to install the leftover drivers that in fact were not installed because there are no drivers for it. Um, these drivers go up to Windows 7. So yeah, in fact, that is already yeah showing that this system is kind of old it's having the centrino uh, processor as you can see there in fact it was built for windows vista so yeah what can we say um windows 10 runs and in fact this is how to install windows 10 and you know get it running but um i think you need some more restarts etc to you know get these things um in fact working because now we can also not turn off the computer you see that the only way how I can turn it off is by one two three four five six seven boom you see that so now we turned it off so we're gonna give it a fair chance we're gonna reboot it again now you will see the real-time boot straight up to the desktop at least to the login screen And this on a yeah pretty old tablet that peeps think of it windows vista when was that 2005 so this tablet is kind of 10 years old eh? 10 11 years old it was an amazing device costed about 5000 guilders or euros i think that time was euros and uh, some of you might even know how I get it. I traded my other Fiuzzi Simons tablet, a very big one as well, 
including the cradle to this thing the guy wanted the cradle he also had one another lying around there very old tablet 10 inch running windows xp i also have a review of that tablet somewhere so now we're gonna log in And immediately I also saw that there were many new apps being presented in the start screen and Microsoft already said it that they're gonna make more um, yeah how you say that advertisements into the start screen so yeah in fact of course you can well me myself as an old school user i think um the start screen will kind of be replaced for classic shell because you know I, I i think this is way too much for this computer let's see if we can open the start menu now we're waiting ah it's opening it opened oh yeah you see so it's it's kind of big this all but the wi-fi also started up you see many um things are starting up so um what i'm gonna do now in fact uh, i'm gonna get a, a little app oh yeah we can also take a look at the browser the microsoft edge browser i never looked at it yet ever this is the first time i'm gonna use it And I can remember that it was hard for me. Uh, oh yeah, I remember when I was uh, using it. It was really hard to set my start page, my personal start page. It would uh, not really allow me to do that. So that was kind of, yeah, the reason that I did not hear in settings. Um, open open with specific page and then uh aangepast and here i must put the website address this is yeah my start page okay so i just put it in maybe i should put plus yeah there you go this is also something to remember. I think Firefox users will... Uh... Okay, so now uh, I want to... Okay, I'm looking for a home button here. Um... Okay, I see no home button, so I think I will have to close the browser. And then open the browser again and then probably i will get no i did not okay it keeps opening this page here for me but i want to be here okay so um let's see if my old classic shell is still alive so i can test that out and see how that looks on windows 10 I'm going for the latest stable version. Let me see if I will be allowed to install this. And uh, these guys, I think uh, they made the very, very best um, uh, start menu ever created uh, for Windows, for Windows 8, in fact. Because they created this for Windows 8 and now we're gonna run it okay see anything oh boy don't see nothing man so now uh, I'm gonna run classic shell just to get the start menu that I kind of like
and in fact i think we will get a sort of uh, updated classic shell one that will allow us to keep our start menu so okay here we're gonna go to uh, advanced oh no uh, show all settings and then windows 10 settings here we can say um, customize open windows start menu um, no i don't want that general behavior uh, Wow, no, that is good, man. It's just fine. So there we have our start menu now. So it don't have to load all the. I think this also looks amazing, don't you think? I think this looks very beautiful, and even uh, also good to control with the fingers. But this is using a pen. See that? Wow. beautiful maybe windows 10 is, is 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 good for this tablet like this just because it doesn't have to run the heavy uh, start menu it is also uh, full with uh, lots of uh, connections that are you know busy doing all sorts of things but i think this runs really nice uh, i'm gonna do some test things and uh, of course um, we're gonna come back with this tablet and let you know what uh, it does and how it does it and uh, how windows 10 runs on this for you see simons uh, the stylistic st5111 <laughs> Thank you.